Hi, students. I just uh, make a mention that you are in a final stage in parsing, so you can construct the abstract syntax tree. After that, you can generate a code by traverser of the abstract syntax tree. Okay, so it is very uh, important step. So before that, you have to um, access the right properties of grammar symbols. So that means the attributes should be um, attributes should be discriminated depending on the type of the node, depending on the type of the symbol. So let me share uh, the today's handout. Is there is some problem opening the file. Okay. So is there any volunteer for the um, for the audience? I think only a few of you is not volunteered today. Kanchulun, is it okay for you to volunteer? Yeah. Okay, good. Kanchulun and Sohije, how about you? Is it okay? Uh, <clears throat> okay, good. So two person, Kanchulun and Sohije is are the audiences today. So you have learned the attributes, how to use the attributes, but there was a limitation that the attribute is a specific type. What was it? Can you learn what was the specific type of the attributes up to now? Mm -hmm. Was it a floating point number? Integer. What's that? So he said, do you have any idea? What was the type of the attributes up to now? Integer. <laughs> so you are using so you are using C code. And integer is uh, is just the default type for every function. Uh, in ancient times, so it was an integer, but you have to use various types such as uh, string, for string in C, you need a character pointer, but sometimes you need a tree pointer, tree node pointer for them, tree node. So this kind of attributes may be combined with a default attribute of integer, okay? So you have to know how to handle them. So generally we have to handle attributes of multiple types. For instance, character pointer is required to represent a string in C and float is needed for floating point returns or double, float or double. Since the attributes of grammar symbol should be represented by a single type, the union type is a natural candidate because we have to combine these types as a single type T. So the union is a good candidate. So any one of these types is possible in a union. So as a consequence, YAC supports percent union declaration. So here you have a percent union declaration here. So it is currently supporting two types. One is type of character pointer, whose field is S well, and S well is regarded type in YAC. Int is not a type whose field name is I well. Int is a value it stands for. So 
these field names are considered as a type of uh, some grammar symbols. So you have seen that identify your name. So token name is of type S van and token number is of type I van, which means that the type of number is an integer and type of name is a character pointer. Okay. So is, is this clear? Yeah. Okay. So the same is true for S expression, which is a non-terminal is S var. So the type of S expression is same to the type of name. So it is a character pointer. And I expression, integer expression is type of I var. So it, it is same to integer here, okay? So I simply <laughs> declare those types in double, okay? But you, you may extend, uh, you can extend that those types of node, okay? It is your role of today, okay? Okay, so let's take a look of the info file as a whole. So you can take a look that these are the rules. These are the rules. Okay, the star symbol is dividing the expression in two forms. One is integer expression. The other is a string expression. Integer expression is using plus operator and string expression is using dot operator for concatenation. So as you know, the plus operator is just plus of them. But for string concatenation, you have to measure the string length of L1 and L2, and those two should be concatenated. So you have to allocate it, allocate a reason, catalog with a counter allocation. The size is L1 plus L2 plus one, and each block size is one. Okay, and you're copying the first string L1, dollar one is here. Dollar one is copied to this location and dollar two is copied to the location uh, after the length of L1. Okay, so let me think about that. Your string, first string, dollar one is hello. And dollar three, dollar three is word. Okay, and you know that the length of both of them is just ten, five and five. So you have to allocate 10 locations. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and you need a null here. Okay. So actually it is initialized as null because it is allocated by catalog. Catalog is, uh, allocate, catalog is initializing every block by zero. Anyway, the string is copied. Hello is copied to this location. So H, E, L, L, O is copied to this location because it is pointed by dollar dollar. And the location is dollar dollar plus L1 is that L1 is five, one, two, three, four, five. So this is the location of dollar dollar plus L1. Okay, so word is copied here. W-O-R-L-D is copied here. So it is set as dollar dollar. So the value of S expression is a newly allocated string. Okay, for name, you have to allocate, allocate only a single string, okay? And string is copied to there. Any other questions up here? No questions? So the yylex is not specified here, but you have to you you have to know that these tokens should be accepted by yylex 
Also, your token is accepting name and number. Those tokens should be accepted by y by lex. Okay, so the lex input should be like this. So note that the field names of union or declaration is used for types of grammar symbols. Use token for the token type. Use percent type for non-terminals. And lex input is accepting plus and dot as the operators. And digits, one or more digits is uh, recognized as a number. And the value of i var, which is a union value, so y y l var dot i var should be an integer. And sequence of alphabets is one or more sequence of alphabets is recognized as a token name. And you just set the y y text whose current value is set as s var. So this is a character pointer. And one of the spaces is neglected and a new line is end of input. So what are the digit alpha space? So those are declared here. So you can use you can use names for the patterns. You know that these are the alphabets, ah, these are the numerals, these are the alphabets of small letters and capital letters. Actually, the order of capital letters comes first, but it, it, does, it does, does matter here. And space and tab are the spaces. Okay, so you know that these are the names. And these are the patterns. So some guys is using the term regular definitions for these descriptions, for the regular definitions, so you can use that digit, much like a uh, grammar symbol is zero, one, two, three, four, five, da, 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 nine. So this is called a regular definition of digit. Another one is alpha, maybe a regular definition of a, B, the dot C, large A, large B, the dot C. You know that these are the original uh, regular expressions, okay? So we, we this setting, it is called the regular definitions, okay? So in order to use names in a regular expression, you have to use a pair of braces, okay? So just to replace the pattern for the names, that is, uh, that is the rule. Any questions up here? No nope. questions? Kancharan, do you have any questions on it up to here? No. Okay, good. So I share the terminal and you know that this this union dot y is defining the same value explained before, and union dot l is defining the same file explained before. And you know that your make file is just as before. It is the two source files is generated by Bison and lexical analyzer is generated uh, by flex, okay? So let's just simply make, so make it clean. So make again. And if expr, is executed one plus two plus three plus four 
is 10. Okay, so there's no wonder for this. But how about hello world? Hello world is concatenated and printed. Okay, so if you wonder it, if it is uh, really working for this, you need to buy, you may change the order of copying. How can I change the order of copying? So dollar to first, and then for dollar three, uh, not dollar to dollar three, sorry. Dollar three first, and dollar one is copied later. Okay, so it will make a different behavior for the concatenation. Even expr. So hello that word, word hello. Okay, so you are truly manipulating the attributes um, as intent as for as intended. Okay. Do you have any questions up here? Sorry for the best pace because uh, I give you some more time for your evaluation for constructing the AST. So if you don't have any question, I'm switching to your handout again. So the programming lab 11 is making an AST. The abstract syntax tree can be constructed using two pointers, son and brothers, as addressed in the last lecture. Make an AST for the following concrete syntax. It is the same syntax as before. To construct an AST, you have to handle multiple types, say integers and pointers to the three nodes. So you need, will need, um, integer for number, int type for number, and node pointer type for other nodes, okay? So you have to declare node, okay? Node pointer type for other nodes. So you have to make them as a union. So you can use uh, i var for int, integer value, you can use a p var for pointer value, or t var or tree, and these two should be declared as a union. Okay. So for the following expression, for example, plus twenty-five times minus two minus three, with parentheses, you can construct the AST like this. Times is, is executed later and unary plus and 25. And for the second argument, minus unary minus, and then binary minus for two subtract, uh, subtract three, two minus three. Okay, so your program should produce the output in a tree structure. So you know that there, there is needed two, just two characters for indentation times. And the first child is plus. This is de depicted as um, unary. So the parenthesis is used, 25. And second one is another unary and binary minus two, three. So you know that these are the sub, sub trees. Okay, so in this way. So it, it is much like that, much like a folder like this. Okay. Note that the unary operators are printed and enclosed by a pair of parentheses. Do you have any questions up here? No? No questions? Okay, based on the experiment, make a report with the references. 
you can write a report in Korean. So these are same as before. And your program should read from standard input. The input consists of a single line containing an arithmetic expression. Only five operator symbols with parentheses with the positive integers are allowed for input. Also spaces and tab characters may be included in the input, but you have to skip them. So it is performed automatically by your YYLX. The program should print the standard output, just print a tree with two space indentations. The following shows two sample input and output. So this is the input described as before. For the second input, you just construct a tree in this manner. Times comes later, plus a unary minus of 11, and second operator of plus is 7. How about the second operator of times is minus, binary minus 31 minus unary plus. It is redundant, but you have to include it in your AST. Okay, so in your AST, unary symbols, unary operators are included, but the, uh, be aware that the parentheses are not needed in your AST because it is for clarifying the structure of your expression. So it can be safely omitted in your AST. Okay. So there, it is controversial for this uh, unary plus. Should I include in your uh, in your AST, but it, it is controversial, but please include in the same uh, simple exercise. Okay. Any questions? No questions, then you are about 45 minutes to go in this way. Uh, in the terminal. So in your union.y, you may declare here, or you may include your own node type, node.h, okay? And then maybe include it here. Okay? You may declare here, type that struct Node something with uh, sorry node. Okay, so you may make an int int i or something. Anyway, in that case, it is okay to make a node pointer p band. It is of no harm. So make Undefined the name node. Type de de definition is not working here. I think, how about use uh, struct underscore node? Since it is struct under underscore node it is declared here. It is the same value, but in that case, this should be a node. Let's make it. So the type type definition may not working. Okay, so in that case, please use the bare name of structure. But in that case, it is preferred that uh, the if not define if not define such like node .h. Fine. I suggest that these barriers is and if is required because once you'd like to include them multiply, uh, this uh, small trick is good for the multiple inclusion of the same time. Do you have any questions?
Okay. Then let's call it a day and see you next week.